hey guys, if you're in A1, and I'm talking about E3, yes, it has been officially cancelled due to you know what. So it kind of sucks, but human life, way more important than a game conference. So yeah, if going to California, as we know, LA already declared like a state of emergency and whatnot. So and going to a conference where there's going to be like thousands of people just walking around, you know, could put you at risk, then it's good that they canceled it. I actually got told this on Tuesday before the official announcement. Someone with the account name Michael Faulkner actually told me that it was canceled, but I checked and it wasn't official, so I wanted to wait till it was. So will gamers be a little disappointed there's only no three? I think yes. We, uh, but like I said, you gotta choose human lives over video games and over a lot of things in life. So if it was a risk, because LA I think is more of an infected area than many other places in the United States, Glad they went on to actually cancel it. They actually went on to do the smart thing rather than doing the thing that would obviously be more profitable. The ESA, let's face it, E3 I think is one of their main sources of profit a year. So for them to actually say, hey, this is not worth the risk when that is like millions and millions of dollars, good for them. Good for them to actually put human lives over profit. But do I think the companies will still not make their announcements? No, I believe they will. I think we're going to get a bunch of digital directs, just like how what Microsoft is doing next week in lieu of GDC. I think that's what we're going to get with E3. I think a lot of companies will just do like direct type announcements. But what kind of sucks, I think? I do believe that indie game companies use E3 to get their games announced because the bigger companies, they can have their live streams and their videos and their announcements. And I still think millions of people will watch and hear about them because they're the bigger companies. But the smaller companies, like the indie companies, it kind of sucks for them with E3 because E3 gave them an audience that I don't think they could get by themselves at all. Like they could release a video announcing a new game and, and like thousands of people may hear about it, but they're not going to get the same traction. So let's face it, the smaller companies are going to suffer more from not having events like GDC and E3 to display their games at. But like I said, human lives are more important. Anyway, what do you guys think about E3 being canceled? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and God bless you all.